everybody. Welcome to another 30 Inks 30 Days video, day 18. Um, this was yesterday, foxglove. It looks so beautiful dry, definitely dark enough, so wanting to give that one a go. Um, a nice chroma shading ink. And we make our way to the next day as our, um, as our little jar here gets emptier. So how about I go for one of the small ones today? What is that small one? Sailor Tokiwa Matsu. So when Penfriend G and I did an ink swap, um, a couple of them I chose and a couple he was like, oh, I really like this. Do this as well. I think, I'm trying to remember now, there were two Sailor inks. No, yeah, included. I chose one and he chose one. And I cannot for the life of me remember. I think this may have been the one I chose if it's green. And he chose, sorry, I'm just giving my syringe another rinse because it didn't look great. Um, and he chose a teal. I'm pretty sure this is the green. Um, I had never heard of this ink, this Sailor ink before. Um, hadn't really seen it. I hadn't seen a swatch of it, so I picked it purely based on his fountain pen companion. Without further ado, let's try like that. Yep, this is the green one. So this is the one I um requested and I'll see if I can find it in there wow it's such a deep foresty green how cool is that Ooh, interesting I think I've said before I always thought I would like green inks a lot more than I do because I, I'm quite drawn to the color but I've my relationship with finding green inks has been a little bit stop start. I've never really fallen in love with lots. Just I thought I would more than I have. Um, so it's still it's definitely a color that I'm wanting to explore more. Um, I think I I'm finding like green adjacent inks is is really where I've been more comfortable of late. Looking at this one, it's green, but you can see this brown sheen popping up already. It's going to be quite a sheeny ink, but the brown brownie bronze I don't know if you can see it along there it's not just in the big pooly bits you can see it in the light that you know where the inks come down a little bit lighter as well um, which I think will do you know definitely going to change the characteristics of the ink isn't it not the characteristics the the way the green looks so this is Tokiwa Matsu. Oh, I did it back to front. Sorry, that's supposed to be in the medium nib. Alas, that's my, I dropped that yesterday. Um, all right, I'll do my little liney line here. Wow, look how much sheen is coming up there. That's wild. I'm still working on my relationship with sheen. I know some people absolutely just gravitate towards it, love it. Um, yeah, I haven't entirely worked out where I landed. Nice big chunk of ink on me there. It's not this, it's an... I opened up a pen and it burped and... Yep. So... I think what you can see though is that because this sheen is so um, prevalent, it really, when the ink dries, 
really changes the color of the ink. It makes it more of a brown, a greeny brown, which makes sense because it's a it's a brown sheen. Oh God, I don't have my words today, do I? Um, but it's just interesting. And then seeing how that correlates with the bits of shading that is coming through as well. That bit I actually think I like. It's not necessarily that I like the sheen itself, but I like that it almost makes it look like a shading ink at the same time because of the contrast. They're in the same family or they're related, but there is a difference there. What it does mean though is that, that real foresty deep green really does basically disappear um, once it dries because the sheen uh, really does take over. So my last little thing in here, you can look at that wet to up there, very, very different looking inks, aren't they? Awesome. So that is Sailor Tokiwa Matsu. I quite like that. I'm liking it more and more as it dries and I look at it. The, that it's a it's a brownie bronze sheen I'm going to say there is a, a copper aspect to the sheen which I really like and there's tons coming through like in all of the writing samples the little scribbles there you're seeing lots and lots of sheen let's do it here that doesn't look very it looks like I'm going like that which I'm not meant to what happens if I do like two big in a row will that break it up a little bit let's see I always regret going down a second time. I don't know why I keep doing it. <laughs> you think I would have learned by now. Alas, I have not. So, as I said at the top, this is a Sailor ink. It's one I, I really hadn't heard of before. before. Sailor Tokiwa Matsu, a green ink with a really beautiful um, copper sheen. Have you used this ink before? What have you put it in? I'd love to know what your what you what combination you you created. So, what pen you ink this in? Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me again and sticking with me through. You know, a video a day, it's hard, but I, I love that you're here along with me. If you could hit like and subscribe, um, that always, it always helps me out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.